What's up, family? Professor T is back with some more reacting to undiscovered music. Today we're gonna to check out a suggestion. This is uh, Mani. She's a singer from Buffalo, New York. Shout out to Buffalo, my own hometown. And you're gonna check out her track, I Wish. As always, link in the description to check out the original. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Very polished song, here. obviously. Bet. Wish I could turn back the hands of time. Back the hands of time. Well, again, this is one of the Wish natural singers right here. Okay. Very simple, instrumental. So just keys, little synth bass. She just got single track vocals, ad libs. Nice little vocal effects happening too. I do co sign this song though. I mean, this is nice. This is one of her more polished uh, videos on the channel. This is like an actual recording that was been released on other platforms. So, like I said, a lot of polish here. So, like, you can tell, like, this. This at least it sounds like this was done like in a studio and professionally mixed and mastered. So that's what's up. So her lyricism here, this is definitely the girl song right here though. But I like it. Look, you know, your typical R&B song, you know. Thing about a man messing up. They're not wrong with that though. I mean, uh, I'm a big Keisha Cole fan, and that's like 75% of her music is about men messing up. So, <laughs> you know, that's what it is though with R&B music though. You know, like it's nothing wrong with that. It's just that's what it's about. It's men messing up. Uh, the, the, the male singers the simping songs it's like it's either like this is what R&B is I just met you and I'm about to take you on a date I'm about to knock them ankles loose and then I'm breaking up with you because you are a trash human being that's like the, the subject matter of R&B it's nothing wrong with that though you know that's just how they do be doing it so but yeah that was a good track right there so shout out to Mani my reactions to it, like I said, that's very impressive. I mean, that's very polished. It's very uh, well produced. Just something simple too with the production. Like he did reinvent the wheel, he didn't go too crazy. This one's at Yeezus. It was just something simple, something nice, something real smooth. Uh, the singing, you know, pretty well done, well done. So, critiques, this is an educational channel. So I always do critique, never anything personal. This isn't just directed at the artist. This is for anybody that's watching this, that's doing this themselves for some feedback and suggestions for what all of us can do and what we can learn from it. So on this one, if it was any critiques I would even give, because this one, like I said, is very polished. So I can't really critique the mix and all that stuff like I usually would. Um, I guess I would critique... Like I was joking about, and I was totally being silly about this, and this also is not saying anything is wrong with this. This is just for, in general, to tell people as a comment. When it comes to the lyricism, uh, a critique that I would say, like I say, it is kind of funny, uh, but it's something that, like, a lot of genres have this same problem. Like, hip-hop is, like, money, drugs, 
doing drugs, sex, you know, like, and then like with R and B, it's the same thing. It's for for the male R and B singers, it's I met the girl and I'm simping. I got the girl and she's trying to leave, or she already left and I want her back. <laughs> for women, it's like I met the man. Now I'm breaking up with him because he's trash. So it's like I would just say with that, maybe that's the only critique that I would do for the lyricism. Just maybe be a little bit more unique. And of course, this is one song. That's the reason why I say this is totally not a critique on this song. This is just in general what we can learn from this one. You know, you probably have other songs that's about different things, but this is just totally for advice for everybody at home. You know, when you're writing your lyrics, be a little bit more varied you know with the subject matter so you don't fall into just like the cliches uh any other critiques i would have uh maybe for the production uh i would say i like how it was simple but i think um the bass sound could have been slightly different that's just a preference thing it might have been what you wanted but uh vocally i always try to give a critique with the singing because i suck and I've been studying and taking tons of lessons and learning about it. So I listen to other singers in a different way nowadays. Uh, I think your singing is really, really good. You got a good sounding voice. You have a unique sounding voice, though. And like I said, too, you're a natural singer. What I mean by that, there's some people that they just, they're born to sing. They just intuitively have a pleasant sounding voice and they know how to sing. And then there's people like me. We got to work for it a little bit more. So the only thing that I say with the natural singers, though... You do a really good job with um, all the technique stuff that I would say to do. Like, it, like everything was really pretty good phrasing. And uh, it was really good with the, being in tune. So that's the only thing I would say. I say this for everybody, though. Phrasing is something that we can all always work on. So with some of the phrasing, you know, just considering what's the notes that you put in each breath and making it what you want to be connected versus what uh, notes you want to be short. That's really the only stuff that we would even give us a critique on that one. This was like really, really good. There's not much there to critique. Those are just all very small things I could nitpick to educate the people at home. But girl, you did your thing. And uh, definitely, I'll have to keep an eye out for you. I'll have to keep an eye out for you around Buffalo, too. Uh, once the pandemic ends and I can um, get back and see what people are up to. I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for you on stuff like... Maybe they bring back the Boat Flow Festival. You might be on that or definitely do music as art because it'd be nice for music as art to have some more variety with the genre. So when that comes back, I would definitely say do that, girl, because you can you got something going with this one. So and, uh, you know, maybe we'll bump into each other somewhere. So with that being said. Now is the favorite part of the video for me because I just like saying Billboard chart. It's time to see where does it rank under Professor T. Billboard chart. Let's bring it up and we're going to see where I'm going to put this song here. I'm going to tell you one thing though. I like it. So the ranking for this one, I think you should rank pretty good. So, huh. Definitely it's more than Kiki. Definitely it's more than Lucky. Uh, I like it more than 33 dogs. Now once we get in here, I think you're going to land somewhere in here. Well, I'm moving above Dragon Chase. I'm going to go above Dragon Chase for this one. Just because I feel like I'll bump it up a little bit for uh, that plus for the girls too. I think it will go pretty high. I think definitely more than Maple Mall and Brass Machine. You know what? I think this is a fair placement right here. I'm going to put you around Corey James Dreaming. And I'm going to put you above Ty P. I'm going to go right here. That's where I'm going to place you at. So, Monty, you come in at number 13 on the Professor T billboard chart. So, that's a pretty good placement right there. And... At the end of the year, all the final placements will be posted. And I'm going to do a little something special for uh, the top people that uh, made the chart at the end of the year. So with that being said, I'm going to end the video because I do way too much talking on these. I'm trying to shut up. So to Bonnie, to all you watching at home, love what you do. I had a great time 
watching this video. I hope all of you did too. And I spread peace and love to all of you. And I will see you on the next review.